Hello, hello, hello! You're tuning into another episode of The Wonder King Show. Today's first topic, Red Zone Power! So, <laughs> I always love communication. Communication in anything makes anything work. You understand where I'm coming from? It's communication with, with your spouse, through marriage, kids, parents, relationships. Communication is key. And the reason why I bring up communication is because I've, you know, people communicate with me on Twitter. You know what I mean? Communicate with me on the comment section on here. And I had somebody hit me up. And uh, his name's Gurren. And Gurren sent me something Yuri put out. And if Yuri's my boy, like, you know what I'm saying? I believe he has his own channel and everything else. And he's doing great things. And that's my guy. Yuri is my guy. Like, we actually, like, conversate and stuff. So, but he sent me, Gurren sent me something that Yuri said that didn't pop up on my feed. So I was like, okay. And I'm going to read what Yuri put out about Lamar Jackson. And then we're going to break it down in Dumpster Dive, okay? So this is what Yuri said. And this is an actual stack. I looked it up. Lamar Jackson <laughs> had a 30 to 1 touchdown to interception ratio in the red zone. As of week two of last year versus Miami, 60 and two all time in the red zone. And he was saying, I'm going to read everything. I think the red zone struggles last season were more of a result of the middle of the field being clogged by Roman. I'm pretty confident that Monk and spacing will fix it. Look. I've been trying to get this through so many people's heads because they don't seem to be able to grasp or wrap their minds around that concept. Lamar, even in Roman's offense, for as clustered as and cumbersome as it is, has been near perfect in the red zone. You know when the Ravens started struggling in the red zone? When he lost all of his receivers. And when Mark Andrews got dinged up. That's what happened last year. See, people are not taking all of this into consideration. Remember, Mark Andrews was dinged up for most of the year. He missed, like, multiple games. He missed, like, two, three games. And he was just fighting to be out there. That was what last year was. All of his weapons decimated. The only thing he had was running backs coming off of injury, and even they were injured still. This is why everybody's, or anybody that really follows the Ravens statistically, watches film and stuff like that, thinks that this is going to be an absolute monster season for one name, Lamar Jackson, and the Baltimore Ravens offense. Let me make no mistake about it. He's one of one. He's exciting. He's dynamic. There's nobody in the league that could do what that man does. You understand where I'm coming from? Okay. With that being said, what Todd Munkin's offense, being that he's willing to spread everything out, does, it allows or it forces teams, right? It forces teams out of their base package. And the reason why I say it forces teams out of their base package is because, remember, make no mistake about it, the Ravens are still going to run the ball, but they're going to efficiently run it out of 11 personnel. And I keep re reiterating this for whoever does not understand what 11 personnel is. That's three wide receivers, one tight end, and one, one running back, okay? And, and a quarterback, of course. So what they're going to do is they're going to beat you in spacing. Short passes, quick cuts, guard us in space. See if you can stop it. The thing with that is that puts linebackers in serious threat. Because what you're going to have to do is they have to stay in the middle of the field. Reason why? Because there's a running back back there. They can't help. They can't help. And you know another reason they can't help? Because Lamar Jackson is the most electrifying player in the NFL outside of Tyreek Hill with the ball in his hands. That's how dangerous he is. The only other player with the ball in his hands is more dangerous than Lamar Jackson is Tyreek Hill. That's it. That's it. That's the bar. I don't care. You can throw Justin Jefferson in there, Devontae Adams in there, all of them, Derrick Henry in there. He is the second best player in the NFL with the ball in his hands. The most dangerous player in the NFL with the ball in his hands is Tyreek Hill. 
And he's proven it. So no one can even say anything. You know what I mean? But what happens is it forces the team. You can only play a certain amount of coverages because the linebacker has to stay there. If he moves right, if they fake, and he goes left or right, oh, here you go, JK. <laughs> Take it home, baby. Take it home. <laughs> and what it does, it keeps the cornerbacks out there. And it keeps the safeties back. So there's less players that could be in the box. And look, let me be real with you. Everyone's going to say, oh, yeah, but they're still going to play down in the box because they don't believe Lamar Jackson can throw. No team. Let me, let me reiterate this. No team is going to guard Odell Beckham Jr., Zay Flowers, Mark Andrews, and Rashad Bateman one-on-one -on -one all game. That Miami thing where they were blitzing and everyone was being shut down, that will never happen again. None of y'all know this now. Y'all saw the second time they played me as soon as they tried to blitz, boop, Bateman. Oh, took his whole, all of his leg power, just, oh, ran all the way to the touchdown. No one could even catch him. <laughs> now imagine that was Zay Flowers. Now imagine, now imagine, remember, all they had to do was really worry about Bate and Mark and Mark Andrews. So it's like, all right, we'll sag off Mark right here. We'll sag off Bate right here. We'll put a little uh, bracket coverage on Bate right here. You can't do that if OBJ, uh, OBJ is on the field. You can't do that if Zay Flowers is on the field. It spreads everybody out and forces you to play man. Now, if a team is stupid enough to play zone, Oh, that's when the Mark Andrews eats. That's when the OBJs eats. That's when the JKs eat. You know why? Because what's going to end up happening is that eventually you're going to have to pick your poison. And no team is going to allow Zay Flowers to end up in a game with 200 yards. And I promise you, Zay Flowers is the type of player watching tape, watching him in camp, watching him practice, watching him train. If you give him even. This much. I want you to look at the camera. That much space. He's gone. Gone! The only other player I could see that could even replicate something even similar is Bateman. Bateman has already shown that he got speed. He got wheels. He could run away from the defense. So the defense, the defenders are coming in knowing this. Most teams only have one true good corner. That's it. The rest of them are just scrubs or guys filling in the roles. <laughs> Very few teams got two good corners. So then it put your team. That's what I'm saying. You can't play them one-on-one. -on -one. You're going to sit there and have to pick your poison. Either the Ravens are going to run for 300 yards on you, or they're going to pass for 500 yards on you. Pick how you want to die today. And if they run 300 yards, I know people are like, well, it's less yards running it. They're going to eat up clock and keep scoring. So there will be no way. We already know this, 2019. They'll keep running it, and because the game is slowing down, there's less possessions. So they're now, so now before, like when you're throwing it, a two, a two score or one score game ain't nothing. Because you can throw yourself back in the game because the game is fast. It's like fast breaking basketball. But if they're running it, a one score game in actuality is like a being up two scores. Or in some cases, three scores. That's dangerous. So imagine being up two or three scores. So now they all know you have to throw it. The only team now that, that I'm scared of that, oh, they're just going to throw, 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 they can't run, is Miami. That's it. And that's because of Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill. That's it. Everybody else is getting molly whopped. Molly bopped. Molly dropped. Molly copped. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, but think about it when I'm saying. 60 and 2 in the red zone in Lamar Jackson's career. Who do you know more efficient than that? He is the definition of efficiency because he is an anomaly, just like a Neo. Anomalies force rules around them to bend. I know you guys watch The Matrix. That's what Lamar does. Lamar's gravity affects everything around him. If you understand gravitational pull and took science, right? Grab the the uh, time does not break around gravity; it bends. Wherever it drops, it goes like this. It, it, it warps it. That's what Lamar does in any offense season, because no matter how well you play, no matter if it's eleven personnel, twelve personnel. You have to keep an eye on him because he can hit his head on the goalpost multiple times. He could he could kill your team. Keep his team on the field on long, strenuous, or long um, drives because he just keeps extending it.
and Yawa Dot and efficiency, you're going to get a high-flying, efficient Lamar. Imagine 2019's efficiency, but with more explosive plays. Oh, my God! <laughs> and if you get 2019's efficiency, and you get more explosive plays, oh, it's barbecue chicken time. I'm talking summertime barbecue by the poolside, 4th of July, whole family there. It's finger licking good. Grandma's cooking. And that's an episode of the Wonderkin Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You know how we get down, we have fun, we laugh. But everything we talk about is rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You know I like the comments. And if you would like to support the channel and get more content, check out the Wonderkin Show's Patreon. Yes, three tiers, amazing tiers, extra content, Discord, everything. It, it's a lot. So give it a check. Tell me what you think and if, if you like it. And if you want to donate to help or more equipment, better equipment on this channel, bottom of the screen, QR code. QR code to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do. Name of it is Money Sign, The Wonderkin Show. Easy. But once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This show is Nitro signing off. And as always, you guys know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Hmm. Yerp.